Many remember Apple's leading part in the consumer PC revolution, but in the 21st century, this brand is known for its superb mobile devices, which is not to say that the Mac lineup isn't still loved by many, herself included. Apple gadgets cleave towards the more expensive end of the price spectrum, but if you're a fan, you know they're worth the premium. Appreciating great design doesn't mean you can't also appreciate a good bargain, though, and to help you find some, we've collected all of the week's best Apple deals and sales right here. Smart watches never became the next smartphones, but the Apple Watch is the one smartwatch that has managed to enjoy widespread popularity. Apple updated its watchOS-powered smart wearable last year, releasing the excellent and pricey new Apple Watch Series 6. The Apple Watch Series 6 refined everything we loved about previous models, bringing the design to near perfection with great software, a vibrant always-on display, and an excellent set of health and fitness tracking features. We've also seen some fantastic discounts in the wake of the Series 6 release that bring it closer in price than now discontinued Series 5, making now a particularly perfect time to buy one if you've been on the fence and waiting for a deal. With the Apple Watch Series 7 launching in a few weeks, we can expect even better deals on the Series 6 soon. Apple just announced the new 9th Gen iPad 10.2, and aside from incremental hardware changes, the 2021 model isn't really reinventing the wheel. Yet given how good these tablets are and the value they provide, that's just fine with us, and there's never really a bad time to score the new 10.2-inch iPad at a discount as retailers offer them on sale pretty much year-round. When it was first on the market, our review team named the 7th Gen 10.2-inch iPad the best tablet for most people thanks to its superb touchscreen, solid performance, and great overall design and build quality. That hasn't changed with the new 8th Gen Refresh, which is now the one we recommend you buy. It's an even easier sell given how affordable it is relative to other much pricier Apple devices like the iPad Pro line. The iPhone 13 series is Apple's recently announced flagship smartphone line, and with it, Apple built upon its three-phone release strategy by rolling out four new devices, the iPhone 13, the pocket-friendly iPhone 13 mini, the higher-end iPhone 13 Pro, and the upsized iPhone 13 Pro Maximum. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini are the more affordable models, and they're both winners. The biggest improvement in the iPhone 13 is the camera. It will have improved light sensitivity for better low-light photos and videos. The Pro and Pro Max have whole new cameras, with ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto abilities. The upgrade to iOS 15 improves the photo apps, allowing for cool new settings, like cinematic mode. With modern laptops getting slimmer and slimmer, the MacBook Air is almost redundant now, but it still does its thing very well. That should come as no shock considering that Apple wrote the book in super slim laptops with the MacBook Air and its late 2020 model makes for a fantastic featherweight work machine now that it comes loaded with Apple's superb new M1 CPU. On the latest MacBook Air, that M1 chip is paired with 8GB RAM along with a 128GB solid state drive. One thing we didn't like about the Intel Core MacBook Air was its launch price, but the addition of that M1 CPU make it much more attractive and it's still the cheapest entry point into the MacBook ecosystem and especially if you can find a good deal. The Mac computers aren't the only devices to get the M1 upgrade. In May of 2021, Apple brought its new chipset to the iPad Pro tablets as well. The Pro has always been the most powerful tablet in the iPad lineup, but the M1 CPU really takes things up a notch. As with the previous 4th gen model, the 5th gen iPad Pro comes with one of two display sizes, 11 inches and 12.9 inches, with a 12.9 inch liquid retina display boasting mini LED technology. Along with the M1 CPU, the 2021 iPad Pro got 5G connectivity, a memory boost, and Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4 connectivity. The 12.9-inch model saw a $100 MSRP increase to $1,100 as well, likely due to the enhanced liquid retina display. The 11-inch Pro still carries its retail price tag of $799. As the top tablet in the stable, the 5th gen iPad Pro is naturally the most expensive, but this is also where you'll find some of the juiciest Apple deals when they're available. 
Apple made a lot of waves when the company started removing the 3.5mm wired headphone jack from its devices, but more than made up for it by releasing the AirPods, then kicking off the true wireless earbud revolution in the process. The Apple AirPods may not be the absolute best wireless earbuds on the market, but they're still hot for a reason, and if you're an Apple fan, they're the earbuds for you. They've also been out for a couple years now, so Apple deals on these popular earbuds always abound. You can get them with a wired charging case or a wireless charging case for a $40 upgrade, with retail pricing sitting at $160 and $200, respectively. However, irregular discounts and sales give shoppers frequent chances to score them for around $30 to $50 off, so hold out for a bargain, and you shouldn't have to wait very long. Want the over-ear headphone experience with the quality you expect from Apple? It's finally here. AirPods Max launched in December of 2020 and took the audio world by storm. The headphones are very comfortable, if a bit heavy, with soft mesh on the cups and the overhead strap. They are a marvel to look at. Everything from the sleek metal outside the cups to the oversized volume and noise cancellation knob show that Apple knows how to design a beautiful product. But the visuals aren't all you should care about. The noise cancellation is top-notch, and the transparency mode really makes it sound like you've taken the headphones off completely. Just like that, you can toggle between total immersion and full situational awareness. AirPods Max pair perfectly with other Apple devices, such as MacBooks, iPhones, and Apple Watches. If you already have a suite of Apple products, you can't pass up the AirPods Max.